What up YouTube, I'm Mr. Mac, welcome back to the Mac Shack for the next episode in our Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Remake blind playthrough. And we're here uh, back in level 2 uh, in the swamp trying to work on a little bit of a, uh, oh, a solution. We did have ourselves fully healed, which is, as you can see, not the case anymore. Um, rather annoyingly and I've also forgotten exactly where I have to go I believe I need to go down here because neither of these will open yes so let's go this way let's go this way let's go this way just like that now we've got ourselves a little feather we can get ourselves some more magic powder we can go up through here I wonder if I can just... Okay. We'll just do this. And take care of those guys. Now, of course, we are playing on hero mode as well, which means we don't have the luxury of getting any recovery hearts. So being at full health was really important. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. Um, which is rather disappointing but you know this is the way that things happen sometimes and and it's just something that we're gonna have to deal with hopefully we can deal with it this time better than we dealt with it last time because the one thing that is standing in our way today is the mini boss that is through this door and last time he made an absolute mess of us because he just ran straight at us we tried to play some defense and it didn't work out for us. Okay. Uh, that's not great. That's really not great. Okay, that's that's rather rude, actually. I just want to get out of his way. I think that was like a jump slash, actually. That was pretty good. Okay. We can we can get a couple of good moves on him here. Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be uh, when I was thinking about this episode. And the great news is we've got an easy walk back to the starting room now. If we would like to take it. Of course, there's still plenty to go. I wouldn't be surprised if I, if we see another game over before the end of this episode. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. Um, which is, you know, rather annoying uh, being the the person that is as interested in being successful as I am. However, okay, that's rather rude. Do you stop? Yes. Okay, we'll open this and we'll get ourselves a map, finally. That's, that's great. Okay, we'll get through there. That is really annoying. Uh, we'll take that. We'll clear those bats out. We still have a small key, which is nice. We'll grab whatever's in here. 20 rupees. Can't argue with that. And I'm assuming that through this door, we're going to find ourselves some ghosts. Okay. Um, oh, that hurt. That's really rude. Now I'm almost dying. Okay. Well, we did what was needed, and I believe this is going to give us... Yes. The power bracelet. At last, we can pick up pots and stones. Thank goodness for that. Is there anything special if I do that? No. All right. So, now... We just... We're going to yeet stuff everywhere. Um, which is... Honestly... Oh, these... It's so satisfying. It is honestly so satisfying to break these pots. Like, you have no idea. Uh, I guess we just do that. We can get you back. That is another small key, which is fantastic. Uh, now, let me think. That. Then if we leave all of that, we can put that down there like this. We can pick up some... Now, of course, if we were playing not in hero mode, everything, every single pot we smash would probably have a heart in it for us and it would just bring us back to life. Um, however, 
as I mentioned at the start of the episode, we do not have that luxury. And now this little jerk face is going to want to try and deal with us. So we're going to have to deal with him. How we do that? We just push him into the... Off the edge. Okay. We try and push him off the edge. <sighs> I don't even know why I was trying to do that, to be honest. There was no reason. There was absolutely no reason for me to do that. I just wanted to explore. However, now that we're here... Okay. It's just 50 rupees. Well, that's still nice. It's still... You know, adds value. Adds value to our wallet. That's very important for us. And we don't really lose that much in the way of uh, ground here either. Because we can just move through here like this now. Okay. That's, yeah, none of those are probably going to work for us. I'd rather not get sucked into that gigantic black hole there. Alright. Can I throw pots at bats to kill them? I wonder. That didn't work. But that's okay. Because we're not dead. Which is nice. It's nice to be, you know, not dead. Alright. I feel like if I was to take one of these pots... Uh, did that deliberately not yeet across the gap? No. Okay. Just me imagining things. Right, so now let's go back across here. Let's do that. I think this way is fine, actually. Oh, well, that was me assuming that that was not a hole. Whereas it actually is a hole. So that could have made things a heck of a lot easier. Because I could have just pushed old mate down that hole instead. There we go. He's gone now. Oh. And I'm in struggle town because I keep getting murdered by gigantic bats. What the heck am I doing? Come on, Mr. Mac. You've got to play smarter than that. Uh, I actually don't think there's anything over here that I want. Which is fine, it's just two ways to get to one place. Now, that is a empty room there to our right, so that's probably the next logical step for us to go through. With our last little key. Uh, what the heck are you guys? Okay. So, that's disappointing. Uh, we're dead again. This is, I tell you what, making a death compilation of this would be ridiculous. It'd probably be longer than one of the episodes. Um, oh, because we only come back with three health as well, not two health. Wait, where does this go? That's exciting. What's up here? Okay, there's now piranha plants, apparently. I'm glad that they didn't murder me before. Um, let's get there to there, then down to here. I can't go up there, which is fine, so I'll just go down here. What is this? Oh, how dare you? You grot. Right. Okay, so there's something in here. Does this... Can I... Can I do anything to you? I think I might have messed this room up. Yeah. Okay. Because I can't yeet pots in there either. But there's a special secret in this room. I just have to survive it. Okay. So, if I do this into here, and this across here like this, right, 
Come on. Oh, what? Are you serious? How do I kill these things? This is this is ridiculous. I don't, I don't understand how I'm supposed to kill them. I can stun them, but apparently killing them is beyond the realm of possibility. Um, which I don't know. Seems a bit strange to me. All right. I'm not gonna make that next jump. Uh, probably, I mean, I would have gone close. Anyway. Right. How to not die. How to not die. Go back in the corner. Alright, can I throw a pot at you? Okay, that kills you. But apparently I killed you wrong? That makes zero sense. How did I kill you wrong? Oh. Oh. I get it. I get it. I think I get it. The pots are important. Having said that, I can't move that. So... I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to make this work. Because that's not going anywhere either. Unless I just put that one there and push you over there. And then we... Oh, we missed. Alright. Come on. Yep, okay. It's really not a fan of me. Well, I'm not going to be able to figure out that puzzle, I guess. Leave a leave a comment below if you know how that puzzle actually is supposed to be solved. So that I can figure it out. And I might come back if I have time. In the meantime, I'm just going to throw pots at these things until they die. Alright, we've opened up a new staircase. Lovely. That's going to go down, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Now, what what is inside these pots that's going to kill us? Nothing. Okay. There's just no hearts in them. Which, there would be hearts if we were doing a non-hero mode run. But, that's not the case. Alright, it's fine. Why are you a grumpy person? I don't understand this. Okay. Uh, I need another pot. I think that's what it's telling me. Ah, oh, man. There are, this is like a challenging game. There is a lot of stuff happening in here that, I don't know, I feel like you've got to be really switched on to figure out what's happening. Yeah, you're just a grumpy boy. Take that, grumpy boy. Well, I mean, this is... This is it, really, isn't it? Wait. I don't have the nightmare key yet. What? There's two rooms that I haven't been in yet. And one chest that I haven't opened, but I don't know how to open- I don't know how to get that chest. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're in- we're in strife here, ladies and gentlemen. We are in some serious- We are in a seriously problematic situation, because... At this point in time, I need to be able to solve that puzzle that I can't solve. Hmm. Well, well, well. Things did just get a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to break some pots to take out my frustration. I think that's fair, don't you? Right. So...
there's something in here that is puzzle related. And there's also a bunch of things in here that want to try and kill us. Now, I can't push either of those. I can not push either of those either. So I can only push these two. So how do I make that L shape with just these two? Like that is beyond me. Even making that L shape here is going to be challenging. Because as soon as old mate dies... Okay, that didn't work. As soon as he dies, that's when the buzzer goes. And once I've pushed these once, I cannot push them again. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Yeah, great. Guardian Acorn. Probably not what I need at this point in time. Piece of power. Also probably not what I need at this point in time. Why can't you... Is there anywhere that will give me a hint? Can I see these birds on the map? I cannot see the birds on the map. Is there a bird in this room here? I don't know. It, there does not appear to be a bird on this map. And I can't get up over that to find out. Right. Okay. Does this... Is there anything here that can be moved? It doesn't look like it or sound like it. Right. So there's something in this room that is the secret to why I cannot get the nightmare key. However, was there something back here? Remember there's piranha plants? Mm-hmm. We don't want to hit those. I also didn't really want to have to fight that guy, but anyway. We did, so... We can drop here. Just get there in time. Alright. There's an owl here. Right, mate. First defeat the imprisoned pole's voice, last the skeletal Stalfos. Right. So, oh, that's the wrong, wrong way to go, Mr. Mac. So, the challenge is not to kill them in whatever order you choose. The challenge is to kill them in the order specified by the game. So, how I do this is going to be interesting. That. Then that. Alright, now come at me. Okay. I feel like that's one of the more absurd puzzles that exists in this game. I'm not going to lie. Um, definitely not the most enjoyable thing that I've ever done. It actually made me feel quite silly. Uh... I mean, oh gosh, it's a good thing I sort of had a little bit of an idea about what they were as well, otherwise I would have been in serious trouble. Like, imagine if you didn't know the difference between a Pole's voice and a Stalfoss. Or at least know that Stalfoss were like skeletal creatures, you would have been in serious issues. I mean, imagine if you played this game in the original and they didn't have that at all in there. How would you figure that out? Like trial and error? Is that is that the go-to thing? I don't know. Anyway. We're here now. We're probably... Look, we're going to try not to die against this boss. Ho, ho, ho. I'm your bad guy this time. Ho, ho, ho. Genie. Alright, so how do we beat you, Genie? 
I feel like I don't want to go anywhere near those fireballs, actually. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Okay, now what? I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Ah, well, that makes sense. Thanks for telling me that. Nya, nya. You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Alright, well, come on then. Where are you going, mate? Throw. Oh, wow. 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 That's... That's... That's a crazy hot fire. Alright. And throw... You are scaring me. You are scaring me a lot. Ready? Run. Run. No. Now. Uh, 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 uh. Do not. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Come on. And. Okay. Now what do I do? Why, you. You broke my bottle. Why, you. You make me hop and mad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do I. What do I. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Dodge the fireball. And then hit him. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. Get out of the way of the fireball. I think we did... Oh, no. I thought that was it. What? The music stopped. I swear the music stopped. I thought I'd... Uh. That time, we definitely got the job done. Oh my goodness. We are back. We are back to five, five hearts now. Incredible. And then, we get to experience the beautiful music from the conch horn. Are you ready? Absolutely gorgeous. Prairie, prairie. Quite contrary, how does your garden grow? The prairie is waiting. Well, on that note, I think we're gonna leave it there. I believe we got through without dying to a, a mini boss or a major boss. We didn't die to the major boss anyway. That's definitely an achievement. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe because we've got daily episodes of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening coming your way until we finish this game. So thank you so much for watching. Um, Take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will speak to you soon.